This is one of the biggest ones I've seen around my neighborhood. So let's see what kind of food they got. Good quality. I'll be the judge of that. Of course, at all these convenience stores, you can buy lunch boxes like these. But since I had them for every single meal during quarantine, I'm gonna just pass. This place wasn't let me film in there, so let's take it back home. You can buy a full-on lobster at GS25. I'm now realizing this video could be a two-parter. There's just so much stuff at these at these convenience stores I want to try. And they have this brand that's kind of like the uh, 7-Eleven Premium. It's the Yo You Us. I think I've only seen that in the GS25 stores. What I think GS25 is really known for is the instant noodles. So I got four instant noodles and three of them are kimchi because I, I heard from one of my friends, you have to try this, the uh, kimchi stew ramen. Apparently it's just way too fantastic for words, but I really didn't know which kimchi ramen she was talking about, so I got three. This is uh, something I came across and apparently this thing is super hard to find. It's, it's like the authentic sandwich from some K-pop training facilities cafeteria. It's very rare, I just saw it randomly. So here it is. I'm actually really excited for this pizza. Look how big it is. It reminds me of New York. First things first, instant noodles. Start living. You're perfect just like you are. Release your control. Start and let go. Take a night off and let yourself go a little crazy. Already you can see the differences between these two. Look at this kimchi. It looks like goo, while this kimchi looks like actual kimchi. This does have spam in there. So this quality looks a lot better. Huh? Both of these kimchi noodles look pretty much the same. One, of course, smells more Spanish. This is a Spam one. It's good. It's not too much of a kimchi flavor. Sausage is nice though. So this is the uh, most popular kimchi noodle. First of all, there's a lot of noodle in here. Wow. It actually tastes like, like real kimchi broth you would get at a restaurant. This just tastes like really good quality kimchi soup. And I bet you if you added some additional kimchi on top of this, it'd be even more splendid. Yeah. Sour, spicy. Tremendous broth, this fried chicken rub. Oh, I see what he's doing now on the packaging. This is intestine, he's grilling intestines right here. I was trying to figure out what the heck this was. I figured it was either chicken scale or intestine. These guys just make everything, huh? Noodles, fried rice, congee, dumplings, intestines. I like that. If you're not used to that texture, you, you might find that probably not that good. 
and for sure this would have been better on a grill got the fatty large intestine look at this this thing on the grill it's great because the outside fat would just be nice and charred so i have a little crunch and it'll taste a little bit like pork belly but here it's kind of soggy um although it's still good it's got that nice fatty flavor the texture will throw most people off a little bit and also they got little pieces of tripe in here flavor is good not all that spicy but actually pretty perfect with these noodles All right, not completely sure what I bought here, but it looked really fancy. So it's glass noodles and there's pieces of, ooh, that is tender. Look how easily this thing is breaking apart. Large leaves of kimchi. That's pretty darn good. Out of all the kimchi soups and stews I had so far, mm. instant ones, of course. This is the highest quality. Mm. The meat just crumples in your mouth. Mm. My favorite so far. Mm. So good. I know pig skin might come off as not the greatest thing for a lot of you guys. Give it a shot. We all have skin. I don't know how that argument is, is at all helpful trying to persuade someone to eat skin. You got skin too. So you should eat skin. Eat skin to help your skin. I think that's kind of persuasive. This is so amazingly good. Flavor is profound. It's spicy, of course. Perfect blend of savoriness and just a hint, tad faint hint of sweet, delightful chew. Mm. And after like the tenth chew or something, you get this pleasant hint of smoke, and then all that great gelatinous texture just fills your mouth. If I ever want to stay in again, get some instant noodles. Get some of that. I'm good. Also, they give you green powder to dip it in. I don't necessarily really like this. This on its own is good enough for me. All right, there's a lot of stuff on this pizza. I see some sausage, some ham, some olives, jalapenos, onions, the Empire State Building, like everything you can imagine it's on this pizza. Whew. Everything except for flavor. It's okay, it's not like horrible pizza, but for something that promises good quality, I think the quality is just okay. Obviously it would be much better if it came from oven and the bottom is toasted more. But, kind of boring. Not bad, but it's not great. But if you add this to the pizza, this thing just makes everything good. Mmm. I only forgot I got a piece of fried chicken. It looks pretty spicy. It looks pretty red. That's really good fried chicken. I mean, it's cold now, but skin's still kind of crispy. Good amount of heat, tender, and I bet you when this just came out of the fryer, probably pretty juicy too. All right, you got a lot to learn about good quality from this thing, and especially that thing. Finally, let's try this out weird combination again. It's called an inky gayo, if I'm saying that correctly. I think it's some salad and mayo on the bottom and then jam, strawberry jam, I guess. It's kind of similar to the egg salad, potato salad, strawberry jam sandwich I had earlier. All right. A lot of vegetables in here. So they combine on the bottom, egg salad and potato salad. On top, coleslaw mayo. In the middle is just strawberry jam. All in all, it's really not bad. Coleslaw has a nice crunchy texture. I mean, I wouldn't seek this sandwich out, okay? It's not like I want to go to GS25 every day and say, hey, can I get an egg salad, coleslaw, and strawberry jam sandwich? It's like the cronut. It's good to try it. Find out what the fuss is all about and never do it again. I think I'll happily go to my banana pudding. Oh, that's tremendous. I don't think I've ever had a bad pudding in Asia. Not only not a bad pudding, I don't think I've had any pudding in all of Asia that wasn't absolutely mind-blowingly delicious. It's just so smooth and creamy. Do yourselves a favor and get this pudding. Swede banana pudding. Best thing I had today, 100% pig skin. Chicken was good, intestine was good, and then this. So next time you're at GS25, give these things a try.
It's about not even 4 a.m. and I woke up absolutely starving. So this is what I got for my next round of food from GS25. I got another K-pop sandwich just because I feel like maybe, maybe I didn't give it a fair shot last time. Some roasting duck steak, bibimbap. I have no idea what this is. It just says morning dubu. Uh, dubu? Sounds like a cute little nickname for your significant other. Hey dubu. Aw, hi Dubu. Oh, this one was really interesting. I found some dumplings. No idea what this is. But I see dumplings, I get dumplings, I eat dumplings. And then this yogurt. It just said best item, so I got it. And this is so interesting. This is, I'm assuming is a drink, but it's strawberry cake flavored. And then another flavor of one of the best puddings I found in Seoul. Sweet D. This thing is pretty cool. Comes with a spoon, so I guess this is more soup than dumpling. While we're waiting for that, let's try this drink. Whoa, there's actually pieces of pudding floating in here. Did not expect that. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's either pudding or, or something fell into this. Whoa, big chunk of pudding. It's actually not that much liquid. Am I supposed to use a spoon on this? So Google translating this, it just says, there's a thing that says, please eat. Well, I'm trying. Oh, that's really not working. All right, I'm gonna use a spoon for this. Well, that's a problem. I know I'm doing this wrong somehow. I think maybe I should use a straw. They didn't give me a straw though. Mm. Right, I'm able to suck some of this jelly out. It tastes like a really wet pudding. It's delicious. It does taste like a strawberry cake. If you do ever get this, don't be like me. Get a straw. My dumplings are ready. I feel like I shouldn't have microwaved this. I really wish I, I was able to read the directions better. Yeah, I definitely wasn't supposed to microwave this, this little plastic wrapper thing. It looks like it's a pasta in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to have added hot water or not. I'm gonna dump my dumplings in and add this. And I think just stir it until the sauce covers everything. Despite the fact that I'm pretty sure I'm poisoning myself a little bit with plastic right now. This is one of the best microwave meals I've had so far. These noodles are so chewy. The texture is kind of like Chinese biang biang noodles. Oh, the dumplings are good. Bits of pork inside, glass noodles, scallions. Oh man. You feed me this every day during quarantine? I'd be so happy. Solid A plus on that. This is the bibimbap. Oh, there's an egg on the rice. I think I'm supposed to just microwave this for a minute and a half. While I'm waiting for the bibimbap, I'm gonna cook the duck. I think this thing, you just open a little bit and then you microwave. Bibimbap is ready. Again, so took that sauce out. See, I'm making all the mistakes here so you guys won't when you eat this. All the ingredients go in. Sesame oil goes in and sauce goes in. Mix it with the rice. There you go. Ooh, my duck's ready. There is a lot of goo leaking from the duck. Not gonna lie, that actually looks like a pretty darn good piece of duck. It's pink in the middle too. Take a bite of my bibimbap. Oh. Oh, that's good too. Chili sauce is good. Sesame oil has a great aroma. The egg could use a little work. It tastes more like a sponge than an egg. Yeah, yep. that's a sponge. The rest of the bibimbap is great. Considering this duck came from a freezer and it was uh, leaking goo a few minutes earlier, this is incredibly good. Really tender. Got a good smoky flavor to it too. That's a good piece. This is a superb combo right here. I feel like in Korea, if you get these meats from the fridge, whether it's duck or intestines or anything at all, it's gonna be good. You know what's also great about this? 
it was buy one get one free you guys remember in duck hunt where like two ducks kind of fly on top of each other you fire one shot and you get them both in the dock brings them both up smiling at you like congratulations man that's kind of how i feel right now with two of these This is a chunky jajang, man. Looks like there's actually chunks of stuff inside the sauce. Mmm. Yo, that's meat. It actually tastes kind of good. This is really good jajang, man. This is a USGS retail premium. Sauce is solid, chunks of meat. Onions, noodles are thick, chewy, and clings to the sauce well. I think I still like the spicy instant ramen I got before from CU, but really solid bowl of noodles. Oh, okay, Dubu is tofu. So I'm not entirely wrong. You can call your loved ones tofu. Hey, tofu. I think that's a great nickname. I mean, tofus are, are soft and gentle and sweet when you add sugar or syrup, or spicy when you add hot oil. Real oriental. Ooh, that looks smooth. All right, it's tasteless. I just kind of wanted to dig a couple of holes because it doesn't seem to be a place for the sauce to go to. That's vinegar. Oh, this is not a dessert. This is meant to be a, a savory dish. This is like some sort of sweet vinegar and it's not bad, but it, it is very surprising. Especially when I thought this was some sort of syrup. I mean, it's good. The tofu is very silky, but I don't think I want to have this again. Oh, this I know is good. The smoothest, silkiest pudding. That tastes like how Amy Grant sings. If you can package Amy Grant's voice, It'd be this banana pudding. Oh, I forgot about that sandwich. Why? I don't know why I got this again. Maybe it's one of those things because like, I know it's really hard to get. So I saw it and I was like, you know what? Give it another shot. Look at that. No. Oh. Same as last time. I really just didn't anticipate the coleslaw and jam combo. If you don't think about it and just put it in your mouth, start chewing, it's not bad at all. It's actually quite a good sandwich. Maybe the K-pop idols like to put something sweet in all their sandwiches because they like to jam. Oh, this is heaven. Anyway, guys, that's my review of GS25. And what I'm gonna do after this, I still have some food left over. This is where it gets really fun for me. I'm hooked onto a new K-drama called Startup. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna eat all the food I haven't finished. And then I'm gonna watch the sunrise. And as always, thank you all so much for watching until we eat again. See you later.